I'm Steve for This Week With Cars, and today I have two MGTDs. These cars have been seen in the backgrounds of many of my videos, and you might have even thought that it was the same car. But these two cars couldn't be any more different from each other. Let's take a look around. Both of these cars are still powered by the 1.3 liter XPAG MG engine. This car on the left is completely stock and unmodified. Again, this car has a 1.3 liter MG engine and a four speed transmission. This car also retains the original 1.3 liter engine, all of the original brakes, but has a lot of modern modifications. The first things that are noticeable about this car is the Brooklyn style steering wheel and that the speedometer and the tachometer have been upgraded to more modern units. The speedometer is now controlled by GPS and the tachometer is driven off of the ignition coil instead of off of the generator. If you look closely down at the gear knob, you would see that this car is now equipped with a five speed transmission instead of the standard four. The TD that is in standard configuration does have an aftermarket steering wheel, but you can see the configuration of the original gauges. One thing that is absent from the car with the modern gauges is a clock. It's very hard to see any difference in the headlights, but the ones fitted to this car are actually LEDs. Underneath the bonnet, this TD has been fitted with an alternator, a new distributor with electronic ignition, a sport coil, and a fake regulator that has a giant fuse in it instead of a couple of relays. Up front, an electric fan has been fitted, and the original mechanical fan has been removed. This car has also been upgraded with a spin-on oil filter adapter. Here is a look under the bonnet of the standard configuration car. So what is it like to drive an MGTD fitted with a 5-speed transmission and a couple other modern modifications? Let's hop in and find out. things that you will notice when driving this car is this five-speed transmission now has a synchronized first gear so you don't have to be worried about coming to a complete stop before switching into first gear at a stop sign this transmission makes this car a lot easier to drive for those who have not driven vintage cars before you'll still have to get used to driving a car branded car but the transmission feels much more modern than that of the original unit. Not only is the transmission fully synchronized, but the detents are a lot more positive. You know exactly what gear you're going into, and it's a much more positive feel than the original gearbox. Something's happened to the car doing 20 miles an hour. I'm 
Not sure why it has happened. I don't see anything leaking. Let's see if I can limp this back. The car is pretty much staying at a set 1500 RPM. The engine doesn't seem to want to rev any higher than that. It's a good thing that I have this fifth gear, otherwise I would be hardly moving right now. I guess I'm walking back to get a gas can. Well, you've just witnessed firsthand one of the quirks about the MGTD. There is no fuel gauge. There is a light that will come on to let you know that you're running low on fuel. But until you run your car out of gas, it's hard to tell if it works or not. I just found out that it doesn't work. Well, let's see if that was the problem or not. Looks like it might have been. The car's acting up again. This time, instead of trying to finish the video, I'm going to limp it all the way back. Well, I made it back, but just barely. I think it's about to die. There it goes. I'll get it in the shop, take a look at it. Well, at least this ended up being a pretty simple fix. The screen inside of the fuel tank got completely clogged up. All the fuel was drained out, but it wasn't that dirty. It doesn't take a whole lot to clog that screen up. So I'll get this button back up and let's take it for a drive. So far, everything is working well. Right now, I'm in fourth gear. I'm doing 40 miles per hour and the engine is at 3,000 RPM. So I'm going to shift into fifth. I'm still doing 40 miles an hour and my RPM is about 2,500, maybe even a little less. I'm holding it steady right now and exactly at 2,500. Looks like I'm doing about 42 miles per hour. So the five-speed transmission is a pretty good improvement on the engine. 3,000 RPMs, I'll shift into fifth gear. I'll bring it back up to 3,000 RPM. After I climb this hill, of course. So 
it looks like 3,000 RPM now. It's just a tick over 50 miles per hour. I'd say about 51 miles per hour. So if you plan to drive your MGTD long distances or you have to travel on a highway where you live to get it to anywhere, putting a five speed in may be something that you might want to think about. It does require slight modification to the floor. You put in a new transmission tunnel, which is just a cover. You can keep your old one. But the installation is not that hard. And as always, if you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.